a mess of wires. I know that's what you're thinking, and you'd be right. But this is the beginning of my newish sort of project. My idea is to, uh, well, let's go back. On Hacker Day, I saw this great controller that somebody was making. They were doing a Kickstarter. Um, and I thought, I want one of those, but I'll be damned if I'm paying for it. So I thought about making my own, uh, and I finally got round to it. The basic concepts is a universal controller for robots, UAVs, etc. So the idea is just to cram as much rubbish into it as I possibly can. Um, so you've got a gimbal there, gimbal there, gimbal there, gimbal there, analog sticks to people who don't know. Uh, it'll have an LCD display. This is not exactly how it's going to be. It was just a sort of doodle I did. Battery meter. So a couple of potentiometers. A whole bunch of flip switches. Um, these will be push buttons down here. But as I say, not necessarily down there. Uh, and slowly but surely I've been amassing the parts, so I've got a couple of remote control gimbals there from an old plane I crashed too many times. Um, potentiometers like this one down here, got a few of them, I've got some flicky switches like that, very nice. Uh, this is quite a decent little thing, it's a... Uh, 6 volt battery meter, self contained, so no mucking around as far as that goes. Uh, set of switches there, got some more switches on that as well. I've even got a 2.4 gig uh, wireless thing, but I'm not sure I use that. I'm inclined to go the XRF route, sort of XB style. So, what I realised was I'm also going to have triggers on the back like you would you know uh, analog triggers so that's where you've got two analog channels there two analog channels there two analog channels there two analog channels there an analog channel for that potentiometer an analog channel for that potentiometer and then you've got the two triggers, which are a single analog channel each. And I realised, well, that's, that's 12 analog channels and my Arduino sort of flowy thing that I made myself there. Well, he has six. So, did a bit of research. Uh, and I mean, this is key to it. It's all about learning, really. Uh, I realised you need to multiplex. So what I've got down here under that mass of wires is a 4051 multiplexer, demultiplexer. So that's analog to digital uh, converter. You can have it as output, but I'm using it all as inputs. So that gives me eight extra channels. Although I lose an analog channel on the Arduino because I need to read in the information, and I lose three more digital lines in order to do the switching to work out which line I'm trying to read from out of the 8 on the 4051. Uh, so I've ordered a 4021 which will give me another eight digital inputs as well. That's not arrived just yet. Uh, and this was just a start but as you can see from this I have 12 channels coming in. They seem to work. I can't really show you all of them, but obviously that's the second line. That's the first line, I think. Uh, fourth line. Perhaps. I can't see from here with any of these numbers changing. No, that's the third line. So that's the fourth line. And then down here, I have triggers. These are off an old Xbox pad. 
some Xbox One, uh, some little wee digital gimbals, that's also from an Xbox One, and as you can see, they're mapped away there. Uh, and then you got the little potentiometers down here, and those are somewhere near the end. Ooh, and it's all going to fall off the table. Now I'm not doing anything special with the data at the moment. I'm just reading it and serial outputting it. But if you notice, it's in the same format as my robot control, which I was doing with Visual Basic. So the idea is I will add another god knows 12 digital inputs on and offs to that once I get uh, me digital pin chip and then from there it will be a case of working out how much data you can realistically send quickly enough obviously with a walking robot it's not so much of a problem but if you get a flying robot and you maybe want to send GPS data uh, forwards or backwards then the line of data that you're going to be sending is just going to be massive. But the idea with this controller would be that there will be different programs that you can run internally. So maybe you only want two of the analog sticks, maybe just those ones, or maybe these ones there. Maybe you don't need the triggers. So theoretically you should be able to switch them off. If we do it cleverly with error checking, etc. I should be able to uh, get somewhere with it.